Hello, have you heard the rumour that BASF tapes, the chrome type, the type 2s, don't work very well in Japanese or fixed BIOS machines? Well, I've heard this rumour and I'm about to show you something and you can make up your own mind. BASF Basif Chrome Maxima 2. This is a 100. It's rather a nice looking tape. It's 1991-1993, so you know, cassettes were well well established by then. It's got um, well, it's, it looks nice. It's got a red red cleat thing there to hold the tape into the spool. It's only got standard spools. It's got virtually the same, but it's got yeah, five screws, brass coloured screws, which is always a good sign. And it's got an arrow and the number two. So obviously, yeah, it's intentional. Change the direction of the tape. The labels are nice and it's got on there, it says position high. What I can tell you is there's an enormously strong smell of wax crayon. So this is obviously a very high pure type chrome. If we have a look at the technical specs on here, it says dynamic 66.5 dB, dynamic at 10 kHz, 54 dB, sensitivity at 315 Hz, 0 dB, sensitivity to 10 kHz, plus 0.5 dB, print through 55 dB, measured according to IEC 94. Now the interesting thing here, on the right hand side it says IEC 2, position high, maximum dynamic hi-fi cassette, 2 times 50 minutes, 148 minutes, IEC 2. And what IEC2 means is that it has been manufactured to respond to a specification, which is the IEC Type 2 position on your cassette deck. So any cassette deck that's been set up to IEC2 will get those sort of performance figures, or at least that's what they're trying to say. On to the Audacity trace. This is the straight off the tape trace, and I've shown it to you because it's, it, I think it's beautiful. Total symmetry between the two channels. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you just a couple of the output traces. We'll go for the high frequency response and we'll go for the silence. So you can see you don't need to use Dolby on these tapes, but if you do, you're going to get a good result. And we'll see how far the frequency response goes. See if there's any truth in this muddiness thing. The silence here is excellent at minus 83 dB. The white noise and pink noise are showing the slightly extended frequency response. You can tell it's a later tape because the 1 kHz and the 3 kHz 0 dB are both showing signs of distortion. Better than a lot of other tapes. The minus 20 is clean as a whistle though. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And that brings us on to the frequency sweep. You can see here that it goes far higher than you'd expect. Obviously the minus 20 has got a better response. But it's it's pretty still pretty good. I haven't mentioned up till now, have I? This is been recorded on one of these rubbishy brand new decks that nobody will give house room to because you know they're just rubbish aren't they and um you know it is recorded just as it comes out of the box nothing's been tweaked it's just the way it is what i'll do is i'll give you a bit of a b comparison so you can hear tape then you'll be able to hear a bit of the original and then you'll be able to hear a bit of tape and then we'll just settle down with just let the tape run to the end shall we now music circle dance by seth Choi record is straight off the download from the YouTube library and it's a very high level signal it's it's hitting on the zero dB and um, the end result is what we're going to hear
So there we go. I've listened to that. I can't hear any mud. Can you hear mud in that? I don't think there's any mud in that. But if you do think there's mud in that, please tell me where. Give it, put the time code or something in the comments. Here you can see the source and the tape put together and the way it's edited. The blue is the digital sound and where there isn't any blue, it's the tape sound. I think that covers it and we'll get on. There's another video here. Maybe you'd like to subscribe and um, yeah, we'll look at these things. Let's keep it simple. And let's not believe everything you read and hear on the internet. Bye-bye. Catch you another time. Cheers.